Hey everyone, welcome to uh, May Welding's uh, YouTube channel. We are going to be building a jib crane in my shop. With that being said, I'm going to go over the blueprints of the jib crane and the material as well. I'll catch you guys over at the blueprints. Here is the rough drawing that I had came up with um, and then obviously the base. Um, it's just going to hinge so it'll only have 180 degree um, swing to it so then here are some of the blueprints anyways just kind of a rough idea so i worked together with a college buddy to kind of develop some of these blueprints um, just to give me a baseline to go off of um, after i had sketched it out on this paper anyway we got a 12 inch tube we obviously have our i-beam i believe i got a 20 foot section of it I believe it's a w w6 if i remember right some quarter inch as for here we have the base plate and then the base gussets as well. Some other miscellaneous pieces for the crane itself. I'm just gonna some added features to it. The added features really don't do anything, but just add a little, little something to it. Then we obviously have some pipe and stuff for hinges too. So the premise of this video is gonna be getting this big pipe ready to be mounted on the floor. Um, so I got to kind of bevel all the edges and grind some of the mill scale off and also do the same with the gussets and the base plate and get them prepped to be welded down at the bottom of the pipe. And then I'm actually gonna have to come in the top end and um, add a, a cap inside there. Just, there's no really need for it. I just want one in there so I don't have the inside of this tube filling up with crap. For now, we're just gonna be grinding. So I'll throw you guys on a time lapse. Safety first. So we just finished the tube, and now we got to do all these gussets. Uh, there's a total of eight of them. Should be anyways. Get back to grinding, I suppose. This metal dust is gnarly. Looks like it's time for some new gloves. Oh. Big, heavy, and awkward. I'm just getting this lined up so I can draw reference lines where I need to grind the mill scale away. That'll get us pretty close. But I'm also gonna take this 12 inch circle Oh, where are you take measure? Why can't I find you? I got my tape measure. I'm just going to measure in four different points to make sure this is in the center that I'm going to mark that. That way I know where to grind for the, the actual pipe, where the pipe's actually going to be. So this is what I did, is I marked out the inside of 12 inch and then I added a half inch just around and then roughly drew a line. That way I know that's where the outside edge of that whole um, tube has to be. That way it's perfectly centered. We can always fine tune it if it's not perfectly centered, but um, that will at least get us pretty close. So I'm gonna work on getting this uh, upright level. Um, that way we can start putting the base on and get that situated the way it needs to go. Man, that scares me. Uh oh. I didn't really want it to roll. Huh. That helped. It's level now. Mm -hmm. Shim, shim, shims. This work. That's why I always little, leave little pieces of steel all over the floor. You never know when you're going to need shim. Now I'm going to get the base positioned where it needs to before I start tack welding and everything. But 
in the meantime. Okay, so it's actually been a few days since I was last in the shop and we were working on getting this base squared to the way that I want it. I am gonna get the welder set up to tack in some gussets after we get uh, this plate tacked in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the, this base plate tacked in place. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, man. So I actually think I'm going to do the first pass of the, the base and then put the gussets on, I think. So we got the first pass all welded. Now I'm going to add all these gussets. I'll catch back once I get those all added and tacked together. Okay, I got all the gussets tacked up. I am going to go ahead and weld them and I will catch back with you guys later. Now we're going to take this guy and we're going to put it inside here like so. That's going to conclude part one of the jib crane series. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching today's video, uh, and I will catch you back in the next one.